Independent Electoral Commission, that is the IEC of South Africa, is stepping into uncharted territory by launching a powerful, multifaceted response to counter former President Jacob Zuma's recent allegations. Zuma's statements, which the IEC claims are rooted in misinformation, have forced the Commission to take aggressive action in order to protect its integrity and the nation's faith in the electoral system. The stakes are high and the IEC's efforts to refute Zuma's claims are designed not only to defend the truth but also to protect the democratic processes that form the foundation of the country's governance. In this video, we are going to delve into the reasons behind the IEC's unprecedented stance, how they plan to combat Zuma's alleged misinformation campaign and what this means for the future of South Africa's electoral integrity. Jacob Zuma, who happens to be the former president of South Africa, has long been a polarizing figure in the country's political landscape. His time in office was marked by significant controversy, corruption allegations, and legal battles. Despite this, Zuma continues to wield influence over his loyal supporters, particularly through his statements and opinions on current political affairs. Recently, Jacob Zuma made a series of claims targeting the IEC, which he suggests is compromised or biased. These statements have sparked concern, especially in a political environment where misinformation can spread quickly and undermine public trust in critical institutions. The IEC, which is responsible for overseeing free and fair elections in South Africa, has been taxed with ensuring that the country's democratic processes remain transparent and unbiased. Given the historical importance of this body, any attempt to discredit or undermine its role is seen as a direct threat to the nation's democratic foundations. While the IEC's decision to launch a comprehensive counter campaign is not just about refuting Zuma's public statements, but it's about ensuring that the public remains confident in the integrity of the electoral process. The IEC's multi pronged approach includes a combination of media outreach, public education, and legal action to dismantle what it considers an organized effort to mislead South Africans, what the IEC stands and understands the power of public perception. To address this, the Commission plans to launch an aggressive media campaign using press releases, interviews, and social media platforms to engage directly with the public. This will include clarifying the truth behind Zuma's statements and explaining how the electoral process really works. While additionally, the IEC is exploring public forums and educational workshops to engage citizens on a deeper level. These sessions will not only address the misinformation but will also educate South Africans on how elections are managed and why transparency is essential. This effort is expected to combat any false narratives that could weaken trust in the electoral system. Beyond public outreach, the IEC is also considering legal measures. If Zuma's allegations continue to circulate, the Commission may pursue litigation to hold those responsible for spreading the misinformation accountable. While this could involve court cases aimed at not just Zuma but also others involved in disseminating the falsehoods, the goal is to create legal precedents that protect the integrity of democratic institutions from those who attempt to undermine them. Guys, tell me in the comment section, do you think the IEC is right to take legal actions against Jacob Zuma's alleged misinformation campaign? Please drop your thoughts just down in the comment section.